Hello, I'm Joe from Camera Lessons Online, and today we're talking about how focal length controls depth of field. Let's get into it. So today we're going to be talking about how focal length influences depth of field. And uh, that's going to be an important factor for us because we've grown accustomed to thinking that it's just aperture that affects depth of field when that is not the case. Uh, in fact, there are several factors to depth of field. Before we get into that, um, as always, everything that we do here is brought to you by Camera Lessons Online. That's the website. On there, we have a four hour introduction to photography uh, video course. We've got books on travel photography and macro photography. Um, and of course, we've got our F stop shirt and all of those things are available. I'll put some links in the description. I hope to see you there. Uh, so today we are talking about how focal length influences depth of field. Now we know the essentials here that your aperture is going to be a major influencing factor to depth of field. The more open that it is, the shallower the depth of field. But in fact there are several factors to depth of field. You have your f-stop, you have your focal length, and you have your proximity. Now there's two aspects to proximity. Proximity of the lens to the point of focus and the distance from point of focus to the background. The closer you are to your point of focus and the farther away the background is from that point, the shallower the depth of field. But today we're gonna to be examining focal length. So I have two lenses in my hands here. I have a 135 millimeter f1.8 and I have an 85 millimeter f1.8. So what we're gonna be doing is we are going to set up the camera and we're gonna shoot some pictures at the same distance of the same subject at the same aperture. And what we're gonna find is different depths of field. So let's do that. So we have two lenses that we are looking at here, an 85 millimeter 1.8 and 135 millimeter 1.8 shot on a full frame camera. And we're gonna take a look at same subject focused in the same place on a tripod, so shooting the same distance with the same background. And we're gonna do it at two apertures, f5.6 and f1.8. So here we have the 85 millimeter at f5.6 and here we have 85 millimeter at f1.8. And so, of course, there's a difference in what the background looks like naturally. That's what we would expect just by changing aperture. But now let's take a look at f1.8 at two different focal lengths from the same position. And so here we have 85 millimeter at f1.8. Here we have 135 millimeter at f1.8. And it's a pretty noticeable difference in the background defocus that we have because it's just a shallower depth of field because of the different focal length. And this carries forward to f5.6 as well. So here is the f5.6, 85 millimeter. Here's 135 millimeter at f5.6. And again, a truly different background defocus. In fact, you could almost say that the f5.6, 135 millimeter is, a pr is more similar to f1.8 at 85 millimeter than it is to f5.6. You could make that argument. I would say it's about halfway in between. Uh, so focal length is a noticeable determining factor when it comes to depth of field. Depth of field is one of those things that we talk about a lot as photographers, something that we're trying to control and influence a lot. And knowing all of the ways that you can manipulate depth of field will make you a more creative photographer. It will allow you to uh, control your environment better. And it will keep you from thinking that you've always got to look for f1.2 and f1.4 lenses in order to hit the depth of field that you want, which means that you can create beautiful imagery and possibly save money on the gear at the same time. So if this has been useful or helpful or at least interesting, of course I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe. It's free. You knew that. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch, and I'll see you next time.